Hello and welcome to Shredder Zoo. Today we're going to take a look at one of the most well-known dinosaurs of all, the Stegosaurus. This large herbivore lived during the late Jurassic period between 155 and 150 million years ago. Initially thought to just live in the USA, a partial skeleton discovered in 2006 placed the Stegosaurus in Portugal. This has significantly increased the known range of this animal and further reinforced the theory that North America and Europe would have been connected during this time. The first fossils of Stegosaurus were discovered in 1877 by Othniel Charles Marsh. The first fossils were fragmentary and the bones were scattered, making the reconstruction of this appearance challenging. Stegosaurus has gone through many different appearances. Originally thought to be an aquatic turtle-like animal with its distinctive back plates lying flat and overlapping like the shell of a turtle or tiles of a roof, giving rise to its name, Stegosaurus, meaning roofed lizard. Over the next few years, many more remains were discovered and more reliable reconstructions were possible, but it still went through several revisions. It can be noted that the hind legs are much longer than the front legs. This first led to a belief that it was bipedal. But taking into account the animal's size and weight, it was realised that it would be a quadruped. Due to the size of its legs, it would not have been able to walk very fast, with a top speed of around 67 km per hour. However, it's interesting to note that as most of the animal's weight is positioned over its hips, that it may have been able to rear up onto its hind legs. But even if it did not do this, it would have had a very tight turning circle, something the creators of Ark must have overlooked. Once Stegosaurus was recast as a quadruped, the main area of contention was the positioning of the back plates. After specimens were recovered that showed that they would have stood upright rather than flat as first believed, it was a puzzle as to how to arrange them. In 1891 they were put in a single row down the length of the back, but it was felt that they overlapped too much in this arrangement. The next arrangement is shown in the 1901 painting by Charles R. Knight, with probably the most familiar arrangement of paired plates in a double row along the back. This arrangement appears in the Stegosaur in the 1933 film King Kong. still a problem as no true pairs of plates with the same size and shape had ever been found for Stegosaurus. By the 1960s the prevalent idea was, and still is, that the plates are arranged alternating in two rows, not paired. Not only has the positioning of the plates been fiercely debated, so too has their usage. At first thought to be some kind of armour, but the plates appear to be too fragile to give much protection and their positioning is not best placed for defence. They may have been used to increase the apparent size of the animal to scare off attackers or to impress other stegosaurs. Another suggestion has been that the plates are used for thermoregulation, like a Dimetron sail or like a modern elephant's ears. The plates had extensive blood vessels running along grooves and the stegosaurs could have used them to cool off or even to warm up as they increased the surface area of the animal exposed to the sun. But while thermoregulation may have been a secondary benefit to the sales, it is mostly agreed that the primary function was display. It has been hypothesised that the stegosaurus could flush blood into the plates when under threat, reddening their colour and showing a warning display. The tail of the stegosaurus has large spikes mounted on the end. This is known as a thagomizer. These were used to bend off attackers. Studies have shown that 9.8% of all specimens examined showed damage to the tail spikes, indicating that they were indeed used as a weapon. Also, a fossil tail vertebra of an Allosaurus showed a puncture that a stegosaur tail spike fit in perfectly. One other feature that the stegosaurus is famous for is its incredibly small brain. Despite the animal's overall size, the brain case of stegosaurus was small, being no larger than that of a dog. Actual brain anatomy in Stegosaurus is poorly known, but the brain itself was small even for a dinosaur, fitting well with a slow, herbivorous lifestyle and limited behavioural complexity. Othniel Charles Marsh noted a large canal in the hip region of the spinal cord, 
which could have accommodated a structure up to 20 times larger than the famously small brain. This has led to the influential idea that dinosaurs like Stegosaurus had a second brain in the tail, which may have been responsible for controlling reflexes in the rear portion of the body. This idea has been rejected. The canal has been found in other dinosaurs, and modern birds have it too. Its function is not well understood, but study of the body has given rise to the notion that it is a glycogen body. This body allows for the storage of excess glycogen, a molecule that is used for energy storage in animals and fungi. While the precise method of use is uncertain, this may have acted in a way similar to an adrenaline burst in a flight or fight reflex. With the release of glycogen, the muscles would get a sudden burst of energy, allowing for more active movement, perhaps for the swinging of the Thagomyzer at an attacking Allosaurus. Well, that's all for today and I really hope you've enjoyed the video and you've learned something new. Please leave a like and subscribe if you're new and come back next time for more Extinct Creature Educational Specials.